Hi and welcome to the Clarity New Features and Supportability video series for release 16.2.2. My name is Katherine Ellis and I'm a Clarity Product Manager. In this video I'll show you new improvements in the area of resource management with a focus on staffing. In Clarity 16.2.2, the staffing object is further extended with additional resource property fields, now including the category field. The resource fields are now available when the staff target object is used in an investment canvas table widget, where it can now have up to 20 columns. Within our staffing workspace, we continue to make improvements in performance and usability. We have new UX treatments while incrementally loading data, a new mode to display histogram information in the staffing grid, and the ability for the administrator to remove fields from the pages within the staffing workspace. I'll go directly into the demonstration highlighting why it's important and what you can expect from these new enhancements. Bringing the category field into Clarity streamlines workflows and prevents confusion for users accustomed to its presence in Classic. This helps to retain familiar functionalities, saving time on relearning and adapting to a new user experience. Available throughout Clarity, the administrator can manage visibility and field level access to the resource category field through the administration attributes page. The typical user can then access this information within various pages including the resources workspace, plans, or staffing. Integrating the fields from the resource object on a canvas for the staff target object enhances data consistency and accessibility. It allows for a comprehensive overview of resources related to the staff, streamlining information management and improving workflow efficiency. Within this investment hierarchy canvas, adding a table widget using the staff target object shows the additional resource object fields. Let's add the category field and other staffing and resource fields to this layout. As a generic enhancement, we have expanded the maximum columns in any Canvas table widget from 10 to 20, which allows configuration for a more detailed and comprehensive data representation. In a prior release, the maximum number of columns allowed was 10, with a maximum of 12 time variant TSV or per period columns. Now the maximum of 20 columns will add up the number of any regular fields and add one per TSV total column to fill up the maximum. Existing navigational behavior has not changed. There is no horizontal scroll bar in the table widget. Let's export this canvas to PDF. I want to change the page size and orientation before downloading the canvas. Clarity will now remember the last updated setting for the next time I use the export to PDF action. Users now have a greater flexibility in organizing and analyzing data, facilitating a more in-depth understanding of the information presented from a hierarchy or from an individual investment or from a status report. Let's go from this hierarchy canvas into one of the investments to view the canvas there. 
Let's look at the status report in a layout saved in an existing view shared to everyone. Let's go into the configure mode for this status report. Here you'll see the table widget is already configured with the resource category field. Other chart type widgets also include the resource fields from the staff target object. Our users have been filling out the category field in Classic and therefore will see data for this field. Let's create a new chart widget using the resource category field from the staff target object. Our Canvas configuration is complete. Let's save the configuration changes into a new view. Although I'm currently on a view that is shared with everyone, using the Save As to create this new view sets the shared state to private. I can now make a conscious effort to keep it private or to share the new view with everyone or with a group. Now let's export the canvas to PDF. Take notice of the settings for the paper size and orientation. It has persisted from the last time I generated a PDF file. Adding all resource property fields, including the category field, in the staff target object for the new canvas module and the status module enhances the usability of clarity by streamlining information management and promoting timely decision making. Implementing incremental data loading improvements in the staffing workspace timeline with new UX spinner treatments and a pagination widget is crucial for enhancing the user experience. Let's navigate into the Allocations by Investment tab. For this list of investments, we might see briefly a loading indicator or spinners. Located on the right side of the page is a new pagination widget. The count represents the top-level grouping rows. Up to 100 investments will be loaded per page. The bottom histogram panel also has the new pagination widget displaying up to 100 resources. This new widget and spinners that may appear have been implemented in all four of the Staffing Timeline Histogram tabbed pages. Let's go to the Assignments by Resource tab, for example, and see spinners and the pagination widget. Within any of these Timeline Histogram pages, in the event there is filtering that is not returning any rows, we now have an indicator for no rows returned instead of a blank area, providing more information back to the user. These UX enhancements not only creates a sense of progress, but also reduce frustration, resulting in a more seamless and engaging experience for your users. Upgrade your version today and watch your user engagement soar. Implementing a resource summary mode for displaying staffing data with a histogram based on configured thresholds helps the manager in visualizing workforce distribution effectively. Within the staff grid, simply clicking on the toggle to enable resource summary mode presents you with a view grouped by resource. Adding one or all three periodic fields for allocation, hard allocation, 
or total usage provides the manager with a histogram representation to indicate over or under allocation or usage over each resource's availability. The personal allocation threshold settings applies to the allocation and hard allocation fields. And the assignment threshold colors are applied to the total usage field, which is the computation of actuals plus ETC. Up to three levels of grouping is supported while in this summary mode. One example is to understand our demand for work across different types of investments. Let's add the investment type and investment manager. These additional groupings can be reordered, but the staffing resource field must always be the first group by field. Saving this view includes the fact that the layout is in resource summary mode, which quickly allows the user to return to this view at any time. Although I'm currently on a view that is shared with everyone, using the Save As to create this new view sets the shared state to private. I can now make the conscious effort to keep it private or to share the new view with everyone or a group. Streamline your decision making process with the histogram summary view. Quickly analyze staffing levels across various departments to ensure operational efficiency and make timely adjustments. Make informed decisions and keep your business running smoothly with this powerful tool. Having the option to hide attributes in the staffing workspace timeline and grid is essential for simplifying the view for users by removing redundant fields or fields not important for performing staffing activities. By default, all investment, staffing, and resource object fields are visibly included within the staffing workspace today while honoring field level security. As you can see, having all the fields visible can cause confusion, such as in the case of searching for the manager field showing up on multiple objects. Now in 16.2.2, when the administrator has been granted the appropriate permission for navigation to the new administration staffing tile, the administrator can selectively hide fields that may be redundant or confusing to the typical user. This new capability is focused just within the staffing workspace and does not impact any other investment, staffing, or resource areas within Clarity. Let's take a look at the list of fields for each type of object. By unchecking the Include flag for specific fields, our administrator is making the choice to hide the fields from all tabs within the staffing workspace. Some fields that are required to always be included for visibility won't allow the administrator to uncheck the attribute. Remember that when unchecking an attribute to exclude it from the workspace, it will impact all existing saved views, column layout, filters, and widgets that include the field by removing it. Perhaps there are a limited number of fields that are critical from each type of investment and all other fields may not be necessary to perform staffing activities. Looking at this list, now grouped by the included flag, you can see our administrator has unchecked quite a few fields from the investment objects. Let's remove some staffing fields. We have some fields with duplicate labels that always cause confusion. 
fields such as actuals and allocations where there is a scalar field and a TSV per period field appear with the same label. Also, the staffing object has virtual fields for investment manager and resource manager that the administrator may want to hide so that the original field from the specific object can be directly used. Let's look at the final configuration where the administrator has removed some fields from the staffing object. When performing staffing activities, some resource-specific fields might not be necessary and thus the administrator may want to hide some of these fields as well. Now let's remove some resource fields. Here is our final list of fields that have been excluded or hidden from the resource object. Now let's navigate into the staffing workspace and take a look at any of the tabs to see the list of fields available has been reduced. The column picker is now updated and has less fields for investments, staff, and resource objects. Adding a filter now has less fields to pick for filtering. And widgets are impacted with less fields available for creating widgets. Unlock the power of efficiency and productivity in your staffing workflow with the ability to selectively display information. Thank you for your attention. Elevate your Canvas experience with a customized table widget featuring additional columns and resource fields from the staff target object. Streamline your staffing workflow and access all the information you need at a glance with powerful configuration. And take your staffing workspace usage to the next level and maximize productivity with the game-changing pagination and incremental loading enhancements.